Today, I'm going to be going over shutter speed and how it can give your footage the look you are going for. Understanding shutter speed comes from the realm of photography, where it is used to freeze or convey motion in a picture. When you take a photograph, the shutter closes, and how fast or slow it closes determines two things, how blurry or sharp our image will be during movement, and how much time light is allowed to be gathered by our camera's sensor. Shutter speed is measured in fractions of a second, so a shutter speed of 25 would be 1 25th of a second, whereas a shutter speed of 1 would be 1 out of 1, or 1 full second. And a shutter of 500 would be 1 500th of a second. For example, here is a picture taken with a high shutter speed, which allows the bird to appear frozen in mid-air. And here is a picture that has been taken with a slow shutter speed. Notice how the water appears smooth and blurry. This is because with slower shutter speeds, the position of the water changed significantly from the time the shutter opened to the point that it closed. Thinking about films, a movie is also called a motion picture, and that's exactly what it is. A series of photographs played together to show motion. As we learned in the last videos, we show films at 24 frames per second. 24 pictures are shown rapidly in the time span of one second. In order for motion to look smooth and natural, we need the shutter speed to blur or smear anything that is moving, so that the motion transitions from one frame to the next. Here is an example of three different shutter speeds and how they affect motion. The first shutter speed is 25. As you can see on the ball, there is a lot of blur in the movement. We also let in more light since our camera's sensor can collect more of the light from the longer shutter time. As you can see, the light on the nose and face is a little bit blown out. Compared to the shutter speed of 50, you can see how things look a bit more natural. At the other end, here is a shutter speed of 250. The movement is much jerkier and almost like a slideshow. If we freeze a frame from each video, you can see what the shutter speed is doing to the motion. 25 has a very smeared look. 50 is moderate and 250 is almost clear. You can use different shutter speeds creatively to give your films a specific feel. For example, to convey someone who is dreaming or in a drunk state, one might film at a slow shutter speed. Someone might use a higher shutter speed during a frantic action scene to make it feel uneasy and as if we're seeing each moment in a flash. Like any other setting, shutter speed is simply a guideline to give you a good starting point for a cinematic look. Once you understand how it works, you can tweak and push it into a direction that will give your films the exact feel you're looking for. Next, we'll be looking at Aperture and how we can use it creatively. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.